Now here's the battery bay. Now down pressing on the throttle, there is also a switch. You need to bend this wire. All right, so here we go in speed number two. Check it out. And comes to a landing. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. And today we're checking out the XKA700C Skydancer. It is a three channel fixed wing glider ready to fly. So let's check it out. All right, guys, here is the fixed wing glider, the Sky Dancer, the XKA700C. And I've already flown it several times this morning, and I did crash a lot. And I'll tell you what, I got some damage on the nose over here that I landed straight down to the ground, so it's kind of smooshed in a little bit. Uh, I did scrape up the wings somehow because the wings came off of it and I'm pretty sure the propellers kind of ate it up a little bit there. You can see that it hit it a little bit, but it still flies really, really nice. And when I got it out of the box, the wings are not attached, so you have to attach the wings yourself. And there's this little plastic rod that you have to insert on the wing inside here. and. It just goes in and out. It went in there a little bit more uh, snugly in the beginning, but now it is a little bit loose because of due to some of the crashes. And uh, this thing has all kinds of LED lights on the bottom. As you can see, there's some strips of LED lights on the tail wing as well. And it also has LED lights on the main wings too. So when you hook it up and there's the little connectors, it is super bright, red and blue all over the place. Uh, and you hook it up to those tiny little connectors right in there, if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. I kind of made a little indentation inside of the foam so I can snuck it in there because what happens is that it's loose and it's just dangling in the mid section there where you put the wings in. And let me show you the wings. When they go together like this and snap in together, there's not much room in between for those little connectors, as well as these connectors. You're going to have to shove it in and let them dangle right inside of that little empty spot. So very hard to place it right there. So you're always kind of slightly off, slightly off. So I, I'm not going to use the LED lights anyway, so I'm not going to connect it. And that is the reason why I made that little indentation so I can put those little connectors out of the way so once i get it in there it is in there and what i also have done is i put some double-sided sticky tape on all of the connection areas of the two wings so when it goes in there and connects with each other it will hold itself st stable and it won't kind of loosen itself so it won't bother its flying functionality and that's what i'm going to do once i get done on this table and I'm ready to fly. Now here's the battery bay. Just take it right off and here's some wires. Here's where you put the battery and here is the balance connector. This is where you connect the battery balance connector to turn the lights on and it will turn all of the lights on at all at one time so that is awesome you can just leave these lights on by connecting it just like this and not connecting those two to the wings too so you have an option there and there is the couple of servos and the um, receiver right on in there the brain of the whole airplane and there's these wire all the all the way to the back coming out of the tail here to control the rudder and the elevator now this is the elevator and this is the rudder and nothing is on the wing itself. So you only have rudder control and elevator control and throttle control. So it only has three channels. And here is the motor and the motor itself is called the N60. It is a brushed motor and check out the props. Uh, it's foldable props. So what it does is when you uh, when you're flying, uh, it flaps out. So when you kill the throttle up in the air and you're gliding, it folds back and it doesn't get in the way of the aerodynamics. So that is pretty, pretty cool. All right. So, and this thing is not stabilized. So it doesn't have a gyro stabilization. So you're going to have to um, stabilize the aircraft uh, pitch at, as well as the roll to keep it on a level plane and fly it. So it's kind of almost like 
acro mode and that is what it is so you have complete control of this aircraft now the battery that it comes with is a 7.4 volt 300 milliamp battery and this is the battery that it came with i didn't fly it with this battery yet so we'll test out the flight time and such with this so you connect it right here and you put this balance connector to turn on the lights if you want to do that all right i've been flying it with this battery here which is a 7.4 volt 400 milliamp size battery and this thing is giving me a ton of flight time and it works just fine with something like this i think this came off of the fury b wasp or something like that it's a two cell battery it just has the lossy connector it doesn't have a balance connector so if you use a battery like this you're not able to turn on the led lights all right so let's take a look at the remote control and it is the smaller size of the xk family's remote control that comes with uh, some of the smaller quadcopters it's not the big uh, hobby grade looking one there's some functional buttons up here but for this unit it does not function now down pressing on the throttle there is also a switch and that controls the speed and down pressing on the pitch also has a function and it does flips but not for this aircraft it's for the other quadcopters this one here however does take a photo and a video and i believe this comes in three different variations uh, i believe it also comes with one that has a camera uh, so you can check that one out if you like and take some photos and videos up in the air uh, I'm sure it will kind of weigh down the aircraft just a little bit because this is a glider and it's super light it comes in at only 95 grams so uh, it is super light so I think if you got the one with the camera it will weigh a little bit more and it will uh, lessen the flight time as well the flight time on this baby here is set to be 10 to 14 minutes or 12 to 14 minutes so that's a pretty decent amount of flight time so uh, that is all there is to the remote control guys the on and off switch these are all functional trims and we have a real working L CD display so that is just awesome and the control distance is around 100 to 300 meter control distance so just awesome all right so let me go ahead and put everything back together and let's go for a little demo flight with the XKA 700C the Sky Dancer all right here we go Cut the throttle and just glide as well. No breeze today. Check it out. It is just gliding. I have cut the throttle and as you can see the props have stopped spinning. Very important to have your pitch control to point the, point the aircraft straight and level and not bob up and down that is the trick to this aircraft here look at that it's just gliding give us some throttle Awesome. It's actually very fun. And it is completely manual. So there's no auto leveling here. So you really have to control it very good with your throttle your pitch and your roll not your roll but your rudder your rudder is on your right stick as well so it is almost as if you're doing a roll and that is what it feel, feels like anyways but I'm continuing to do a yaw turn with my left 
thumb with my throttle stick because I'm so used to flying quadcopters with the yaw control on my left finger. So you just got to kind of make believe it is doing that and uh, do a little bit of yutter, rudder with your <laughs> yutter. <laughs> it, it's a new thing. It's yaw and rudder <laughs> mixed together. So there you go. And we are in speed number one, guys. So it is a nice little flyer uh, for a beginner like I am here. And I think for the first time now, I've flown it a couple of times already this morning just to get used to it. And the, my first flight, I was just bobbing up and down because you need to control that pitch and you lose altitude and you try to gain altitude and it's just going up and down and that is the reason why I crashed it coming straight down I wasn't able to lift up in time so here we go woohoo yeah that's exactly what I was doing just going up and down like that so you really gotta have that fine pitch control Okay, we're still in speed number one. I haven't tried speed number two, the high speed. So let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing. You can go ahead and kill the throttle like I have done just right now and just let it glide. And just bring it in, just gliding like that. There you go. Very nice. All right, I brought it back onto the table. I wanted to show you guys something. So here's a look at the tail. And this is just about the only movable functional parts on this aircraft. So we are in speed number one. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and yaw to the left or rudder to the left. Okay. That is the travel and uh, when I first got it out of the box you see this uh, wire uh, it wasn't quite centered so the aircraft was uh, veering to the left a lot and I wasn't able to make a right turn so you're gonna have to um, bend this wire so that the the rudder is directly in the middle so you do have that left and right travel so you're aircraft is able to turn left and turn right so is the elevator uh, when I first got it it will just go up and that is the reason why I was having a hard time so you need to bend this wire so that the uh, elevator uh, is directly in the middle mid position so it will glide uh, nice and smoothly with your stick right in the middle as well so that is the travel that is the travel in speed number one now let's go on over to speed number two, down pressing the throttle. Just mix one beep and there's an H appearing on the LCD display. So let's check out the travel on speed number two. As you can see, it is a lot more pronounced. So you are good enough. Uh, you fly for a few times on speed number one, get used to the aircraft, and then flick it over to speed number two. And in speed number two, you are able to do loops. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do any loops today to show you guys, but I'll try and demonstrate it anyways. Uh, so we have a lot more control in speed number two. So now what we are going to do is go out there and fly this baby, the XKA700 in speed number two. All right, so here we go in speed number two. Whoop. Wrong old right off the bat. Okay, one more time. You see, even if I have the double-sided sticky tape holding on to each other, it does come apart once it hits the ground. There you go, speed number two. Basically, very similar. Having a little bit hard time though, controlling that pitch. Okay, gotta get that fine control and keeping the aircraft level. 
Okay, you got a lot more finer control now. Just a slight movement of your sticks is allowing the aircraft to make turns. So slightly harder than the low speed, but once you get used to this, it should be pretty much fun. There you go. You are able to do some faster turns. Look at that. Now it's not just a glider, it's It's a speed demon. <laughs> okay, got to get that pitch control just right. And here I'm bobbing up and down. And that is what you want to avoid with this aircraft. I don't think I'm going to be able to do any loops, guys. Well, I tried to do a loop, but I did more like a half of a loop and half of a roll. And there is a little bit of turbulence that it is bumping into so it just went up in altitude there so gotta be very gentle with your pitch there you go nice little speed too not bad you know this is a heck of a lot of fun flying a fixed wing I think the XK has another one slightly bigger than this one. I think it's the uh, 1200. I'm going to get my hands on that one. I think that one has a FPV camera instability as well. So you can do some FPV with that one. Oh, this is pretty cool. Finally getting the hang of it without crashing now. I was just crashing all over the place this morning. Thought I broke the uh, aircraft before I can even do any <laughs> review flights with it. I just wanted to practice. Because I'm a newbie when it comes to fixed wings. Very nice. nice i'm basically making left turns because i'm so comfortable with making left turns so let me try and make some right turns here there you go a little right turn so you know just practice your figure eights go left and go right until you're comfortable flying the aircraft and then I guess you can do some rolls or whatever tricks okay I tried to do a roll there but it just didn't want to and I kind of lost orientation as well. <laughs> so I'm not going to attempt any tricks. After all, I'm just a newbie when it comes to these aircraft. Oh, look at that turn, man. Don't crash. And that is exactly how I crashed. Right down. Straight down. Too bad I didn't uh, have my hat cam on. I would have, have recorded that massive nose dive <laughs> look at the flight time on this thing you can do this for about 12 to 14 minutes it's just awesome awesome flight time with a 300 milliamp two cell battery so very light so you're not able to fly this thing if there's a ton of wind. So you need to fly it early in the morning when it's nice and calm. Okay. There we go. 
a little right turn. Got to hold that pitch steady. Woo! Hit some turbulence right there. That wasn't my mistake. It was the turbulence that caused the aircraft to just dive like that. Got to be careful with a little bit of wind. And the breeze is starting to pick up just a little bit. This thing has tremendous amount of distance. I don't think I can see the aircraft if I go 300 meters. But it says it has up to 300 meters. And I can tell a little bit higher altitude. There is a little bit more turbulence and the aircraft is going up and down. Check out the flight time, man. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and continue to fly it and record the flight time of this battery. It's just awesome amount of flight time. And that's what I was having with that 400 milliamp that I was testing it out with this morning. It was just going and going and going and Don't hit my car. Ooh, there you go, just up and down because of the breeze. Woohoo! Yeah, there was a lot less breeze this morning too. And I was just going up and down, up and down. That's uh stick control pilot error bob bobbing up and down of bob asian <laughs> but right now it's uh the wind that's uh, kind of pushing it down once in a while or lifting it up once in a while the little gusts And it just goes on and on, this thing. Kind of getting the hang of it. And then that happens. Woohoo! Oh, there you go. Yep, messed it up. Let's go see the damage. Yeah, crashed like that many, many times this morning. <laughs> and this thing is still good. Hopefully I didn't break anything that time. It did kind of hit the ground pretty hard. So there you have it guys. There's the rod. The wings just fall apart. So that is just awesome. Just put it back. Push it in. And here's the other wing. And just push it back. Yep, I crashed many times like that this morning. So it is still working. And put the nose cover back on and you are good to go check it out no problem and the rudders look pretty decent nothing is broken so the breeze is coming from that side and we are up in the air again so nice little beginner aircraft fixed wing you can learn to fly with because I'm doing it if I can fly it anybody can fly it just about check it out I'm a beginner myself and I'm 
having a lot of fun with this thing this morning there you go lose a little bit of altitude and you start bobbing up and down you got to get that pitch control just right uh oh there you go it is so cool it's just gliding away not bad huh so how long have we been flying for already it seems a lot longer than 10 minutes uh, you know I'm just used to flying three minutes at a time so when you're flying like this long man it's just exhausting actually <laughs> but fun at the same time okay I'm cutting the throttle now completely cut throttle and check it out it is just gliding check it out and comes to a landing that was a nice landing we still got battery life look it's trying to take off of course you have to throw it to take off but that is awesome You can just keep flying this thing all day long with a few batteries. Wow. I still got another battery <laughs> that will fly this thing. That other 400 milliamp. Size battery. Man. And, but the breeze is starting to pick up just a little bit. Cut throttle. And just glide. Here I am trying to measure the uh, battery life and I'm cutting throttle. That doesn't help. <laughs> It'll even lengthen the flight time. So man, this thing you can fly for a lot longer than the battery life because of the fact that you can just cut throttle like that and just glide every once in a while. So you can probably squeeze out, if it does have a 14 minute battery life, you can probably squeeze out, you know, a few more minutes at least. Just by gliding. There, I'm just gliding now again. Putting on some throttle. Oh, okay, just ran out of battery. So I'm just gliding now. There we go, came to a stop. So that is the battery life of the XKA 700C with the provided 300 milliamp 7.4 volt two cell battery. 
Very nice. All right, guys, we're back at the table. Just got done flying the Sky Dancer, the XKA700C, and it is just an awesome beginner fixed wing glider. Just fantastic amount of flight time. And I just learned how to fly with this thing here, just about. I've flown the XKX520, the vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, but that one is stabilized yeah that one has gyro stabilization and you can flick it so that you are in that 6g mode or 3d mode rather and you can do flips and such in mid-air but i turned it back to um, stabilization mode and bring it in i take off in stabilization i bring it in in stabilization but this one doesn't have uh, such of a switch so this is just fantastic for a beginner to learn how to fly and here's the battery that it came with i charged it up just a little bit so i can show you the led light i'm not going to hook up the arms i'm just going to show you the one that comes on the body here let me plug in the balance charger plug and there you go you see that led light perhaps you might be able to see it in the shade a little bit better check out the led light it is just super bright green and red and you got some clear led lights on the bottom just awesome yeah very very bright i'm not sure when you're supposed to turn on the led lights but during the day it's pretty hard to see i mean the whiteness of the aircraft is more visible than the led lights during the daytime but maybe during the dusk hours and you still got line of sight visual and you want to turn on the lights that will just look awesome with this fixed wing aircraft so there you have it guys my review and test flight of the xka 700c the sky dancer thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time